in a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm bringing in another episode of Neo. And if I understand the mechanics correctly, we should be loading back into that same shrine. Yep. Now, I am not going to mess with the same guy that I messed with last time. I think going down was the way out. Yeah, follow the torches. Huh? Actually, this isn't the way out. Oh, you're mine. You missed. Oh, I got a knockdown. Small stone, huh? Probably something you can throw and distract your enemies. Let's go back up. Alright, so that's the shrine. can't target around the corner. You actually have to have a sight on the guy to actually target him. Oh, did not mean to do that. I said, still trying to get used to controls. Okay, follow the... Yeah, now I'm getting close to getting outside. Now, killing these guys is good practice, though. So even though I don't need to, especially one-on-one, -on -one, it's worth it. Especially since I'm getting medicine, I can build my store of medicine up. Good. I use a lot of medicine on this. Oh, I'm stuck behind this chest. I can't move forward. Hey. Alright, so a chest will stop you from moving. So be aware of that. Okay. Now the hat doesn't look better. But there is something up with the boots. <clears throat> Oh, it has a little better defense, though. But I lose my life and luck. I'll take the life and luck for now. I lose half the defense multiplier. But I gain an equipment drop rate. And I'll keep the... I'll be smart and keep my defense. I keep hearing footsteps, and I never... I thought I killed everybody upstairs, but maybe not. All right. So now we're going back outside again, and it's raining. <laughs> Sounds cool. Over there is a dead end. This chest is already searched, right? Good. The chest actually stays searched. I'm glad for that. That combination is cool, but it takes all my stamina to do it. Yeah, the two nights that I am going to skip. I am not messing with them right now. I tried that the last time, and I got mobbed. But yeah, that night wasn't having it. One hit from those nights, ooh, and it takes just about all your uh, all your health. I'll switch to it. Familiarity damage bonus is a B. So kind of like the Souls game. The, the more familiar we are with the game, the more damage. This, game, this weapon gets a bonus, a B rating in that. 
How did you not hear that? Huh? <laughs> Man, the soul's vibe is strong with this thing. Looks like I might be able to escape from the top of that tower. How can I get up there? Looks like I'm about going to the top of the tower and I want to search the bottom area. I want to search every nook and cranny. Well, I bet if I go up this... Ooh. Another knight. Now, there's another guy walking over here. No, those knights are messed up. I'm telling you. Those, mites, those knights are no fun. We're gonna go this way. Oh, damn. That bird flying off scared the hell out of me. Oh, second shrine. Yes, please. Nice, fine. I'm happy I found that shrine. Okay. <sighs> okay, I did not expect those guys. So that was a shortcut to the shrine. If you take those two knights out. That's all that was. Okay, at least now I know. But Jesus, it scared the hell out of me when I opened up my... Oh my god! Double knight trouble. Okay. in monsters like that to fight wars. Guess they got no more use for us. Yes, this creeps me out. These like guys were tortured. His body just split in two. Oh God. He, he wanted to kill me from the start. So it's kind of like you're taking their souls and their Striking memories. when the opponent is down and helpless. That's what they're trying to do to all of us who fought for queen and country. Alright, so final blow. If you knock an enemy down, then you hit Y. You can do a more powerful attack called a final blow, I guess. I haven't seen it. Maybe I've done it. I just didn't recognize it, but... I'll be watching for it now. Okay, so knights that way. And I've got two different ways up. If I'm closer to this one, let's go to this one first. Just to see what we can find up here. You never know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, Jesus, it's a knight. You know, I'm gonna have to learn to fight one of these guys and he's actually in a good position to fight because he's right below a, a health thing. Oh, wait a second. Can I do a backstab? I didn't even think about that. Oh no, I hit the wrong button! Sam, go up. Oh, there's a crossbowman. Fortunately, these tables are protecting me a little bit. Oh, he rolled! Watch out for that crop. Oh, he was he was stunned. He was stunned and I didn't do it. Oh, that table saved me. Alright, I gotta get that crossbowman. Let's heal real quick. Intruder! Yeah, intruder, you can shoot him, you jerk. No, don't take anything. Roll past. Alright, come here, let's. Oh, I got that roll that time, buddy. I broke his I broke his guard, that's what it was. And then Oh nice. Okay, he was guarding, and I was able to break his guard, and that put him in a state of He's more susceptible to damage. So I was able to do a hit that knocked him down, did extra damage. So that's how you take out a knight. I killed my first knight. Oh, and I get a blue item. All right, so this is that sword I got from him. Level four bastard sword. 
This is a level four. Can I can I equip it? All right, but what level am I? I'm a level one. So how if I'm a level one, how can I equip a level four weapon? Hmm, questions that need to be answered. Maybe I'm not as as efficient with it because, well, all my weapons. Oh, these these are level ones. I think once you get past the tutorial, you can level up. Well, if it's going to let me use it and I'm not seeing a penalty, I'm going to go ahead and keep using it for now. Oh, it's got that blood red. That's cool. I'm glad I went and searched everything. Nooks and crannies, nooks and crannies. Always check the nooks and crannies. It's up here. Okay, all right, you want me to go that way, but guess what? There's more over this way that I, I want to look at first. Because there's other areas I haven't checked yet. So if that's the correct way to go, this is not, and I want to see what's up here. God, this feels like a boss area. Damn! I made it all this way for nothing. I'm gonna do something. If I jump. So this is a drop attack training area. But I'll check in a minute. We'll run out here in the middle. Waiting for a boss to drop. Okay, no boss dropping down. <laughs> that had all the hallmarks of a, of a boss area. Oh, yes. I'm getting some decent gear. All right, got a new hat. Life plus 11 and, okay, yeah, now I'll switch. Okay, those periodic yells, they're just, the ambiance is awesome. Stone. I got 11 of them. No accessories. Parry. Oh, I can parry with this. I didn't... Oh, okay. I don't know how to parry yet. I'll have to look that up. I think I like my spear right now. I think I'll stick with it. Is there something we're supposed to drop onto, though? Or, oh, it's that... It was the, uh... The crossbowman. I already took the crossbowman out. Alright. So that's that set of stairs. There was another set of stairs going up. Why does this feel like a trap? Just... Don't have a ranged weapon, do I? Because I feel it's just like... Nope. Kind of in, 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 you know, looking here. Look at this. You can go ranged here if you want. Now that I know what the right way is, we'll go ahead and follow my spirit guide. That's what I'm guessing it's, it would be, a spirit guide. Now this feels like a boss area. As soon as I step out here, the gate behind me is going to close. Yes? Yes, it did. First boss of the game, the Executioner. All right, I can get a hit. Roll back. Ooh, out of stamina. 
Okay, he's not too bad as long as I'm careful. Plus, I mean, I am using a spear weapon. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, for... I was about to say, for a boss, that was a little easy. It's you. The man with the guardian spirit. If I die, the secret of the stones dies with me. Let me show you what these stones can do. Behold. Yep, he's gonna bring back the executioner, and it'll be twice as bad. It's time for your execution. Oh, wow. That's flipping cool. Okay, remember I was saying that was a little easy? Yep. Focus your strength, okay. Alright, target. Be careful. Yep. Get two hits. And dodge away. Ouch! Heal. I should dodge to the side when he does that, not... Oh, okay, I got him, I got him. Uh, B and Y. Oh, that engages my spirit guide. Okay, that was looking cool, but I'm not using the sword. Well done, quite a feat. It took the choice away from you and shot you in the back. So it appears as though I've lost my spirit guide. Okay, so that's the tutorial. Two years' voyage, the Helof was lost, the Trow sank, while the hope vanished without a trace. The good news of the Blyda Boatshap was nothing but lies. Only Leifda remained. An ironic twist. For what awaited us in the Far East wasn't love. It was monsters and death.
Okay. Choose your preferred weapon. Oh, okay. So what I did in there, maybe that all gets because I've lost everything. So the reason I was able to equip a level four weapon is because it was a tutorial and not, um, and not the actual game. Okay. So a sword is heart plus one. It's the attribute. Dual swords. So in closed spaces, that's what I was talking about. Skill plus one, body plus one, and axe. Kind of leaves you open. Uh, the chain, Kursimagar, ah, I can't say it correctly. The, it's a, I forget what it's called. It's for cutting wheat. It's what Japanese farmers used to use to cut wheat with a ball on the end. Weighted chain, yeah, sickle and chain. But that's not, it's not how they say it in Japanese. I don't know how to say it though. That's actually, I like that idea. Um, Aha! Batons. Hmm. I'm not sure. Sword seems safe. So does spear, but in a tight area. Dual swords. Uh, you know, I'm I'm gonna go for the sickle and chain. That's the one that that, uh, that grabs me, I think. Choose another weapon. Well, if I already choose that, then I'm gonna go with a good old standard sword, I think. Um, no, I'll go with spear. Yeah, I'll go with spear as my secondary weapon. Oh, so I think you're like building your character. This is like their character creation. Ah, now I have to choose my guardian spirit. <laughs> this shark looks so cool. Protection to sense enemies, that might be useful. Basic abilities to sense enemies. Playing with a chain, more of a dexterity character. I'll go with the evasive uh, abilities. So my attribute bonuses are dexterity plus one, body plus one, and skill plus one. So here I can change it. Again, the tutorial missions. I'll stick with those choices, see how it works out. So it's like an optional tutorial area.
X and Y, quick and strong. Play movie. Oh, okay, cool. Embedded uh, movies for this. That's cool. Lock on. Okay. That I already... I already got that. Yeah, come here. Okay, I did lock on. These guys don't seem to be attacking anyways. I like the setting, though. It looks really cool. The ambiance of it is nice. Ah, so now somebody will I Oh Ooh, that was nice. Oh Oh do I I have to uh, dodge an attack. Okay. okay, did I successfully dodge the attack for you? No. Guard. Okay. All right, now can I... So you have to complete each maneuver or they keep sending you somebody. Okay, okay. Good, teaching you the game, figuring it out. High stance. Right bumper plus Y, X, high stance. Emphasizes attack power. Mid is good for defense. Wide range techniques easily to use. And low stance for dodging. Doesn't consume much key. And also maintains your guard as you move. So they want me to do a Y. No, no, no. RB. Right bumper. This is the bumper. Okay, right bumper. Oh, okay, it's the upper. That was the trigger. You know, that's a that's a hard maneuver for me to make. I take my finger off the trigger where I'm used to having it. Wow. <laughs> okay. See the next tutorial, probably along the same path. Now it's probably going to tell me to go to the medium. Oh, this is the low. Quick, not as damaging, but I have my defense. Okay. Next tutorial is going to be medium, I bet. You would think, right? X, this is the medium attack. It's not really shown you that, I mean, you get to use the different techniques, but... Key pulse. Ah, okay. So those blue lights I've seen around me after an attack. Right bumper. Okay, after an attack, but who's... So, let's just attack. Ah, okay. So there wasn't an actual target, it was just... Attack, and this will happen. So this is like the otherworldly thing. And this also helps that uh, when you in this area, you start getting like a, a 
debuff. And then key pulse. To gain back, and then you purify yourself. And you purify the area. Ah, okay. Not only that, you purify the area. You dispel his otherworldly. Another weapon. Well, my time is up, and I've got a little bit of a pause here. So I think we'll do this. We'll continue this in the next episode. I've been Critical. This has been Neo. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.